Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in front of the weekly tip. And you may have noticed that earlier uh, this morning, if not maybe even last night, a new template came out for the import on command. So if you've not downloaded it quite yet, I would highly suggest hopping on here to download it. That'll make your life a lot easier just to have one saved on file. All right, but in order to access the template and to import your contacts now, you can click on your contact section on the left hand side. All right, and once we click on that, it's going to show our contacts back in like it always has. And we're still going to click on import at the top right, much like we did previously. Now, nothing so far has changed. The only thing that's going to be different is when you click on this download link on here. All right, so it might not stand out, but it is a download link on here. You can see it in the blue on there. That'll allow you to download the new file to utilize immediately. This is actually a file that if you're on a team, you may have seen previously because this is the team file that was being utilized before too, or at least very similar to it. So now this will actually work for the personal and the team side. So once you download it, you'll actually be able to open up that file immediately. All right, so went ahead and opened it real quick. And now you can start to add inside your information. Now, a couple things to note. First and foremost, this first row on here and the prior template that we were utilizing before, sometimes you're able to actually delete that and put, you know, obviously the second row at the top if you like to sort by certain items. All right, do not delete this first one. That is a necessity in order to import it. Now over here, you'll notice, I'm going to go ahead and maximize this real quick. The first kind of six rows on, or six columns on here are going to be the same. And then you'll notice it starts to change a little bit. All right, so it's going to be a little bit different on here. So then you're going to have primary personal phone, primary work phone, other phone, home phone, so on and so forth. Now, a couple things to note. Whenever you get over to your actual, you know, far right over here under AB, you're going to have primary address and mailing address on here. This is where you can add inside your obviously primary address and whatever the mailing address may be. And there's a new column on here called label. You will need to put inside a label for each address that you add in and it will need to be capitalized. All right. So completely capitalized for every letter. So I'm putting in and right now incorrect because I want to show you something in a second. So the correct way to actually add this in is in all caps like that. All right. So if I put it in in all lowercase on here, the reason I want to show you this, so if I go through and I add inside my other information on here, whatever it may be, and you'll notice some of these are going to look extremely similar to what was actually previously accessible on the prior template. So not too, too much has changed. Obviously, some additional items have been added on here. All right. Now, if I save this real quick, so I'm going to save my template. All right. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to try uploading this again. So I'm going to go back over to my little back end. And I'm going to upload this. So I'm going to click on my browse option. All right, and once I click on browse, then I can browse wherever I want to. So I'm going to browse on my desktop real quick. And here's my CSV file. So I'm going to open this up real quick. We're all good to go on here. And once I import it, the reason that I wanted to do it incorrectly is because once I import it, it's going to say submitted on here. Now, typically, whenever this would submit, that means that command is going through and it's going to actually pull in all the proper contacts for you. All right, but if you have anything incorrect on there now, it needs to be exactly the way that it needs to import in order for this to display. Because if I now come over here and I refresh my import, all right, we're going to see nothing is going to pop up yet. But at the top right up here, I'm going to have where it's completed. Well, this is going to say that I have my failed imports. So if I click on this to actually view my failed imports, I'm going to open this up. All right, now it's actually going to tell me on the fail log, where did this actually fail on here? All right, and if I notice over on the far right hand side, there are a couple new columns on here. So we're going to have tags error, we're going to have source error, duplicate primary emails, duplicate primary phones, and then validation error. And this is where it's going to show me that the address label can either be home, work, rental, vacation, or other in all caps. All right, so in order to use this again, I'm going to delete these columns. Perfect. And I'm going to come back over. And now I can add inside my label. Now, if you're going to reuse the failed option instead of the template you're using before, uh, I have noticed at least as of today, I don't know if this is a glitch or this is just what it'll do. A couple of the different fields on here are going to go away basically. So we need to re-add these back in in order for this to send off. So I'm going to add inside label. And then I did notice that home anniversary went away too. So I'm going to add that back in as well. 
All right, so in this case, I'm going to use the failed import one that I just redid on here, and I deleted those extra columns. I added back inside the names on here. Of course, you can always use your actual CSV file, just reformat that one. All right, but I'm going to come back over. All right, so I'm going to dismiss this. Perfect. And I'm going to try importing again. So this time I'm going to actually instead import my failed import. All right, now once again, it's going to say that it's submitted. And if everything is correct, it should pop up now with my contact. There we go. All right, so now it's popped up on here. So I just wanted to give you guys a couple heads up on there. One, a few items have changed. Two, make sure you're adding inside the label. Three, whenever you're actually importing this, even if it says that it's importing, wait for a second and take a look at your notifications. That's then going to let you know, you know, did yours import successfully or were there some issues on there? And more importantly, what were the issues that happened on it? All right, you'll need to have all that information set up 100% correctly for this to import. So double check on that because it's going to tell you exactly what was wrong so that way you can remove certain items or update it to import all your contacts correctly. So there you go. So that is a little bit of a brief overview of the new template, how you can utilize it, how you can find everything, and where everything is located. So there you go. So that is your KDB command tip for the day.